In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform bond price valuation using Excel. I have classified the methods into five ways. At the end of this learning session, I hope you will be able to put these tools to practice and apply the basic valuation models to bond. To value a security, we discount its expected cash flow by the appropriate discount rate. The same concepts apply to bond valuation too. Let's learn together. A bond is a security that is issued in connection with a borrowing arrangement. It is the IOU of the borrower. A bond indicates that a borrower has borrowed a certain amount of money and promises to repay it in the future under clearly defined terms. The arrangement obligates the issuer to make specified payments to the bondholders on specified dates. Normally, the issuer pays coupon interest periodically, as well as the face value of the bond at maturity date. In this slide, I have listed down five methods to calculate bond price using Excel. The price of a bond at any given time represents the present value of future interest payments plus the present value of the power value of the bond at maturity. There are three key inputs to the valuation process, cash flow, timing, and discount rate. If you like to model using formula, you can refer to this set of formula listed here. To value a security, we discount its expected cash flow by the appropriate discount rate. The cash flow from a bond consists of coupon payments until the maturity date plus the final payment of power value. Therefore, bond value is equal to the present value of coupons plus the present value of power value. Excel has a built-in function to calculate bond price. The formula is highlighted in red. The formula is equal price, P-R-I-C-E. The terms listed below are defined in Excel software. The procedure used to value bonds paying interest semi-annually is different from annual coupon bond. It involves three adjustments. First, we have to convert annual interest rate R to semi-annual interest. We divide R by 2. Second, there is a need to convert the number of years to the number of half-yearly periods. We multiply T by 2. The third adjustment is converting the annual discount rate to a semi-annual rate by dividing R by 2. Let's look into an example. Here we have a bond with power value of 100. The annual coupon rate is 10%. They are 5 years to maturity. The discount rate is 10%. Coupon interest is paid twice a year. Our objective is to calculate the bond price if coupon interest is paid semi-annually. Let me show you how to calculate bond price using method 1, the present value method. Type equal present value, open bracket, rate refers to the discount rate. I'm going to point 10% divide by 2. Comma, NPER stands for number of period. I'm going to point 5 years, multiply with 2. Comma, PMT is the periodic payment. It refers to the semi-annual coupon interest. I'm going to point 100 power value, multiply with 10%, divide by 2. Comma, future value refers to the power value. Let's point 100. Comma, type 0 for ordinary annuity. 
we assume cash flow occur at the end of the period. Before I type enter for the answer, I'm going to put a negative sign here. This is because I wish to obtain a positive answer. Enter. And this is the answer for bond price. Now I'm going to show you the second method, the NPV method. The coupon interest rate is 5 and the maturity value is 100. The last cash flow on the maturity date is 100 plus 5, which is 105. I'm going to type equal NPV open bracket, point the discount rate, divide by 2 to adjust for semi-annual compounding, comma, then highlight the cash flow from the first period until the 10th period. Close bracket, enter, and you have the bond price of 100. The answer for method 1 and method 2 are the same. Next, I will show you the third method, the discounting technique. Here, I'm going to discount the future cash flow one by one. I shall type equal, point the cash flow, divide by, open bracket, 1 plus discount rate, divide by 2, close bracket, power of the period. I'm going to fix the reference cell for discount rate. I type F4 as well as divide by 2. Alright, enter. Let me reduce the number of decimal place. Okay, alright. After that, I'm going to drag all the way down to discount the rest of the cash flow. Next, I will type equal SUM open bracket and highlight all the cash flow. Close bracket, enter. The bond price is also 100. The bond price is the present value of all future cash flow. Method 4 is about manually type in the present value and annuity formula at one go. Here is the formula. The formula is also shown in this slide here. I seldom use this method. It is more for your knowledge. Method 5 is an Excel built-in function to calculate bond price. The formula is price, P-R-I-C-E. Method 5 is used when the information about dates are available. Assuming a bond has the following issue date, settlement date, and maturity date. The redemption value is 100 and the coupon rate is 10% payable semi-annually. The bond is discounted at U to maturity of 10%. I'm going to calculate the bond price by typing equal P-R-I-C-E, open bracket, point the settlement date, comma, point the maturity date, comma, point the coupon interest rate, comma, point the U, 10%, comma, point the redemption value of 100, comma, point the uh, frequency, which is uh, two times a year, semi-annual coupon payment, comma, point the basis. Here I assume the basis is zero. You can refer to Excel for the various definition of basis. Close bracket, enter, and this is the value of the bond price. Finally, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please practice the examples given in the Excel spreadsheet as practice makes perfect. I hope to see you again. Bye!